Hello and welcome to a new video. A lot of y'all been asking me how I make my edits, so I am here to break it down for you. Also, there is a gift for you at the end. You will have a pack of presets, PNG files, and high quality sound effects I use in my videos. So stick to the end because this video is full of value and information that might help you make better edits. As you can see here, I already imported my clips. The idea of this edit is to show Declan Rice's free kick against Real Madrid and show Mbappe reaction when Rice scores. Afterwards, I'll put the free kick of Mbappe against Leganese as if he's taken revenge. I know the video's idea is ironic, but if you do YouTube Shorts football edits, you know that this is what the audience like. Also, this might boost the engagement and trigger the viewer, as if he's rage baited. So create your composition. I usually go with 1080 times 1440. Afterwards, find a viral song and use OGM3.xyz to download it. Now import the song to After Effects and double-click on L to show the audio waveform so you can see the beat drop. Now use the star button on UR numpad to mark the beat. Now right-click on your clip and create a new composition from it so you can easily cut and add to your main composition. Make sure this setting is set to quarter for smooth playback. After assembling your clips, select everything and right-click and choose Fit to Comp Length. Now put a marker on where you want the beat drop to be and align it to the song's beat drop. Afterwards, click P on your keyboard to show the position of properties. Click on the stopwatch to create the keyframe and animate it in order to always keep the ball and the player in the frame. Now let's add a slow motion when the beat drops. You can do this by making a cut and then adding Twixter. Now copy my settings. It's important to put your clip's frame rate in here. To find your clip's frame rate, you click on it, then choose Reveal and Project. As you can see, mine is 50, so I will change this value to 50. Make a keyframe on the clip start, then move forward a bit and make a keyframe where the speed is set to 30. Now click on B to select your video's start and N to select its end. Now let's hide the scoreboard, the TV channel name, and the crowd. This will slightly improve the chance of your video not getting flagged. Right click and reveal in project. Right click and choose replace with pre-comp. Click Control alt y to create an adjustment layer, then select the rectangle tool to make masks on what you're willing to blur. Now, add Gaussian Blur and increase the value. Select all your masks and increase the feather and the mask expansion so you don't have rough edges. Now go to the frame where we have a wide shot where we're gonna blur the crowd. Now we do the same thing. Make an adjustment layer, trim it, and make a mask on the crowd and make sure it doesn't reach the players. Cut the adjustment layer when the cam switches. Now we're ready to export our video so we can add it to Topaz and enhance the quality and the frame rate. Go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and then copy my settings. Once it's done, go to Topaz and add the video. Turn on Enhancements and make sure Proteus is selected. All of those settings depend on the quality of your video. Maybe go ahead and play with them until you like the result. You can render only five frames, so you don't have to wait for the whole video to render. Now enable frame interpolation to convert the edit to 120 FPS. Apollo is usually the best. Now go to codec settings and copy mine.
Now export your video. Once it's done, import it into After Effects and create a new composition from it. You can clearly see the difference of the quality and the smoothness of the clip thanks to Topaz. The first thing we're going to add is the player name on top of his head. Trim the part where you're going to add the name. Now let's create a triangle. This has to be the weirdest way to create a triangle, but it's sometimes fun to do such things. Select the star tool. Make sure no layers are selected and draw a star as you can see. Now go to the properties tab and switch the points down to three. Enable the grid and rotate the triangle so one side of it aligns perfectly with a grid line. If it's rotating weirdly, right click, transform, center anchor point in layer content. Now let's add the player name. I usually use the font Lemon Milk. Pre-comp the triangle and the text, and now let's track the player movement. Select the layer and go to Tracker. Stabilize motion and put this box the player's head. It's not 100% accurate, so sometimes you have to pause, delete some keyframes, and keep on doing it manually. Once you're done, change track type to transform and click on Edit Target and choose the pre-comp of the text and the triangle. Finally, click Apply. As you can see, it's not perfectly on top of his head, and if you click P to show the position to properties, you can't change because it's animated. So click A to show the anchor point settings and adjust it. You might as well have to animate the anchor point settings as the tracking wasn't 100% accurate. Now add the following effects. You can see the rough edges on the text, so let's fix it. Select all your effects, Control plus X to cut and pre-comp. Now, paste the effects. As you can see, it looks better now. Now, play around with your settings, or you can copy mine. I had to duplicate the drop shadow so it pops out more. Adjust the color to your liking, or you could pass on S clouds and use normal colors. A quick side note. You can right-click and choose Scene Detection Edit to let After Effects make cuts for you on the exact frame the scene switches. Now, let's do the same thing with Mbappe. Go back to the pre-comp where we put the triangle and rice, copy both layers, and paste them on top of the clip where we're going to add Mbappe's name. When pasting, click on the layer so the pasted layers get directly on top of the selected layer. Now, let's change the name and adjust the scale and position. Also, 
Copy the effects on the final pre-comp of Rice's name and paste them into Mbappé's. Now, let's add some text. Always try to make the text short and in simple English so everyone understands it. Paste the effects from the player name's pre-comps and remove S-Cloud's colors smooth and adjust the colors to your liking. Now, let's animate the text. Add typewriter effect and click U to show the keyframes and drag the last keyframe to your liking. You can also add tracking. Make a keyframe in the beginning and move forward and add a keyframe and change the value to your liking. You can also animate the scale. Click S to show the scale settings. Make a keyframe in the beginning and move to where you put the tracking keyframe and increase the scale a bit. In the pack in the bio, you'll find the keyboard sound effect. So go ahead and add it You could put other sound effects, but don't put too much so it doesn't get too annoying. Duplicate the text and sound effect layers by clicking Ctrl plus D, then move them forward to make another text. Click U to show all the keyframes and adjust them to your liking. Do the same for every other text. Now, let's add a ball kick sound effect. I'll also add a sound effect when the ball hits the post. Finally, a goal net sound effect. Now, let's add a green flash. Do this by making a green solid. Change the blending mode to overlay. Click T to show opacity settings and make it fade out. I'll also add a red flash here. Duplicate the green flash. Add fill effect to it and make the color red. Remember to add a sound effect. I will add a simple transition here. Remember to add the flashes and the sound effects to the rest of the video. Now, go to the beat drop and make an adjustment layer. Cut it on the beat drop exactly. On the left part, we're adding a shake buildup. And on the right, we'll add a shake. You'll find those presets in the description too. Now add a skull face emoji and some text.
Add the glow and drop shadow settings we've made earlier. Maybe drop the glow a bit. Adjust the scale and position. Now for the final part, let's add a color correction. You'll have a pack in the description too. Click on the mother clip that we're editing on in the project, the one that we just imported from Topaz, and right click and choose replace with pre-comp. Enable optical flow and motion blur to make it even smoother. You see, we didn't add optical flow on the original clips because it works way better when applied to a 120 frames per second clip. Add your CC, and if you see those haze and flare lights, open Magic Bullet Looks and remove it. Now, finally add your watermark. Write a white text. Change blending mode to overlay. and add the shadow and glow settings we've made earlier. Decrease the glow and adjust the drop shadow. Now it's time to render the video. Copy my settings. So that'd be all for today. Thanks for watching.